Hey, what's up guys? Meals Call here. Welcome back to No Man's Sky episode 19. When we left off, we uh we put Artemis into a simulation. And we're gonna go let uh Apollo know about Artemis. So let's do that. Let's just get into it. No long intros, nothing crazy. Let's go just go straight there, right? I mean Wait, this isn't the way. Dang, that's a windy path. Uh, get out, get out of there. There we go. Talk to Apollo. Are you receiving the hollow terminus is showing available again? Your signal was, thought you were gone. It is a relief to hear Apollo again. It feels like we have not spoken in a long time. I try to recount the experience to Apollo as best I can. The gateway, the strange planet, a vast machine, the crimson orb. As I talk, I realize er, I realize the memories themselves are unstable, that I cannot form them in my mind. It is just a dull, aching red. I tell Apollo that I think I saw the atlas itself. You... you saw it? You met the atlas? The Gek, the Corvax, they worship it as a god. I never thought it was real. Never thought... Are you alright? I can't imagine what you've gone through. Say it was terrifying, say it was just a machine, or say it was not a god. Um, I'm going to say it was not a god. I tell Apollo of the things the Atlas said. How it spoke of travelers and sentinels as if they were protocols, not living things. The way it views us, the way it looked at me, I felt as if life and death were just fragile dreams, not c real concepts at all. At least it didn't harm you. And I think, I think there's something in what you've just said. The Corvax pay homage to the Sentinels precisely because they believe them to be servants of this atlas. We should investigate further. This machine will lead us to the Sentinel Nest. We'll be rich before we know it. Uh, say talk of money is absurd, or say there are more important things. Or I can just agree. Uh, let's agree. I tell Apollo I agree. Perhaps the Sentinels and the Atlas are linked. Perhaps this is the path we need to take. But there are other factors now in play. I tell Apollo of Artemis's grave, and my encounter with the mysterious Traveler Null. Artemis is dead? I... I don't... How? Who would... I know I made fun of them, but that was easy. They cared, they believed. And I... What's happened to them? Where have you buried Artemis? I want to say goodbye if I can. I'm gonna tell them the truth. Tell them of your choice. I tell Apollo that Noel gave me a way of saving Artemis to restore them to a form of life. Apollo is initially excited at the prospect of going to meet Artemis, but I explain the nature of what I did. I tell them that Artemis' soul lives on only within a simulation, unable to go beyond. Ask if this was I'm gonna ask if this is right. This was right. It is a long time before Apollo speaks again. Will they be happy? I'm gonna say I hope so. You did the right thing. You tried. Whatever you might be feeling right now, know that you are a good friend. I have to go through the portal and join you. That much is clear. We just need to figure out the right glyphs, the right address for that world of yours. Find a monolith. Search for patterns in the data. These things are machines, and we simply need to understand their code. Alright, well, uh... Apollo's given us something to do. Use the monolith to locate a portal for Apollo. You see to search for portal ley lines. So I'm scanning. Potential ancient monolith detected. Sorry. I had to hide a burp. <laughs> Alright, well, let's go. Also, while I was on the anomaly, I uh, got some nanites from Ares and Helios, and I got my. Uh, extra um, slot for the exo exo suit almost said exo craft for some weird reason what planet's this 
High Sentinel Activity, Gamma Intensive Planet. It's got uranium and salt. If it's got salt, it should have water, right? No? Those are mutually exclusive. I need chlorine to fix this. No? Chlorine something on the other ship. Locate a portal for Apollo. Activate a portal ley line. Alright. Approximate location. That's this place. Okay, here we are. Let's see. I am good to go, right? What kind of plant is this? External radiation. I've got radiation protection on. So we're good, right? Let's go. Hopefully nothing wants to eat me. That looks cool. Okay, um, yes. Thank you. Learning Gek words. Let's get some scans. Find out what all these animals are. Someone in the comments said I should, uh, complete a scan, uh, like a planet, like scan everything, every rock, every plant, everything. Uh, I've never done it. <laughs> I should sometime try to completely discover everything. These are all friendly, right? I'm curious about you. Hey, you. Have some food. And then... Do those wings work? Dang, you're kind of slow. Very bouncy ride. Okay. That was fun. Thank you. For, uh... For, uh... Seating my curiosity. Copper deposit. It's a weird copper deposit, ain't it? Look at it. We're getting it. Uh oh. Sentinel, don't be mad at me. Didn't do it. Anomaly, 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 anomaly. I see the stone of the monolith. It's immovable muted silver. And yet, something lurks beneath. It is gray and yet not gray. A crimson calling out from somewhere below its cool surface. Locate a portal. That way. 15 hours. Okay, we're gonna start walking. Kidding, guys. Nope. Oh, gotta move my headphone cord. Okay, we're good. I don't want to make the volume all weird again. All weird. I moved it like 2%. <laughs> Last time I was like... Made it all weird, nearly. So dramatic. Get out of here. Get off this planet. Get back on this planet. Right there. Alright, so we're going to the portal. That was a cool sound. Okay. Probably gonna be right over this mountain. Right down there, there it is. Alright, are we gonna do portal games again? Hopefully it isn't going to 
to force me to go through the portal or anything. It's not like a bad thing, but it's just kind of a... It's definitely a thing. Charge the portal. Activate the portal to learn its glyph for Apollo. Okay, so um, I gotta refill all these. And they're all different elements and stuff, so... I'm just gonna go through them. Not cadmium, that. A lot of different things, so. Trying to just get through it. It's gonna keep talking to us. Okay, there we go. All 16 glyphs. Oh! Traveler capture loop enabled. Anomaly event contained. The portal seems to beg me as I approach, demanding my attention. It requires me to activate it. It requires me to travel on. I am unsure if I should listen. Request this planet's address. There it is. Ugh. Dang set. Let's get out of here. Okay, now I need to get to a hollow terminus. Terminus located 20 minutes that way, which isn't very far on a ship. Hopefully. Yeah, yeah. How far? A couple seconds. It's starting to cloud over. Gonna be in the middle of a radiation supercell soon. Approximate location, but we should be able to see it from where we are, right? Right there, probably. Is that the place? No, it's not. Hmm. It's right over there. Point seven rads. Um, we really should get some. Uh, oh yeah, I'm a. Uh, I know where it is. Yeah, we're we're just gonna go there. Like. <laughs> get up there, muley. Localize ionic collisions. Improve mining output. So if it's a radioactive planet and it's got a supercell, your mining is more effective. Cool! Really, I'm just trying to survive, so uh, let's use that. Okay. Let's call Apollo. Hollow Terminus activated. Multiple signal sources available. The tower hosts a powerful transmitter designed to facilitate... Ho uh, we've read that. Tune to Apollo. I read it every time, so... Now, now I just disappear. It's like, uh, hello? Hello? Hello, Apollo. Have you found the glyphs for your world? I'm almost ready. My suit is upgraded. My stomach is full, and I've hired a Gek to look after my farm while I'm away. Ask about the farm. Yes, I have a farm. What of it? It's not much. Mostly fruit I found in my travels, but I'm hoping to expand. Anyway, this is no concern of yours. We have a portal to attend to, do we not? As I look at Apollo, I think of all that I saw within the portal, of what happened to Artemis when they walked that same path. I think of the face of the Atlas, of the way Nada warned me not to return to those tunnels. I do not know if the portals are safe. I'm gonna give him the glyphs. I give Apollo the glyphs, asking them to take care. 
to remember what Artemis, what happened to Artemis. They assure me that they will, promising to see me soon. Before I go, they advise me to find out what I can from this so-called null. They warn me to, they warn me to be careful too. Okay, are we gonna talk to Null now? Two lost souls, one who cared too much, and one who cared too little. Their lives have not become what was promised, have they? Every sentient being that has ever lived has felt that way at some point. I know I did, once upon a time. I was angry, confused in my own solitude. Imagine my surprise when you woke me. Oh, I know you didn't mean to. I know you were just playing around with portals, but whatever you did, I am here now and I need your help. The Atlas is not what you think it is. Something is happening to the universe. Something I need your help to figure out. Ask why they need my help. The Sentinels do not just keep the peace around the, across the universe. Their motives run deeper than that, seeking out anomalies in the multiversal structure and eliminating them from existence. Have you looked at me? What do you think a Sentinel would do if they came across my form? No, it has to be you, Traveler. There is an observatory nearby. It will lead you to the location of a crashed freighter of great interest to our investigation. There, there we will find this first secret. I am sure of it. Know that the Atlas is neither enemy nor friend to us. No more than the air or the wind might be called such names. But it is terrified, it is in pain, and we have a responsibility to help its suffering no matter the cost. Alright. Anybody else want to talk? No? Okay. So we gotta visit the observatory. We're still good. Visit Knoll's chosen observatory. Whoa! Pretty close. Pretty close by. <gasps> you are adorable. Please don't be mean. Laden with nectar. Okay, we're gonna try. Go away. Hello, friend! Please be nice. Oh, you're adorable. Harvest grease. Ooh. Let's read this grease. Oh, is that a dead one? Who done it? Did the big guy? Did you do that? Okay, we're gonna go to the observatory. Okay, yep, we're leaving. I should probably check these out real quick while I'm here, right? There's always goodies. We're still good. Okay. Trying not to get complacent about the health of my guy. Ooh. Don't mind if I do. Free carbon. Okay, what is Regis Crease? What is that? I don't think I've ever had that. Animal byproduct. Oh, okay. The news of Apollo to Nada. I can do that. Or I can go to the uh I'm gonna go to the observatory. Let's go. only a couple seconds away. We have an approximate location, so let's start looking around for the observatory. Oh, look at that. There it is. I can't even chart that last place. We got nothing in this one. Some 
nanites. Are we good? Yeah, still good. Hey, hey. At least the sentinels aren't aggressive. I mean, we can make them aggressive. I'm not gonna though. <laughs> Yet. Unless they make me angry. Okay. Why am I going over here? I don't know. Let's go to the observatory. Trader seems ill. Their skin is flaking and their eyes have an alarming glow. Their voice rasps and scratches as they gabble at me. Friend. Something, something, something. Gek. Something. Help, friend. Okay. Yes. Um, if you're sick, offer hazard protection or life support. Uh, I feel a metallic taste of radiation in my throat. Let's give him hazard protection. Collect a piece of cable from the debris on the floor. Makeshift connection between the hazard protection system and the little alien zone exosuit. I might have trashed that sentence. The musty odor of the facility is washed away, replaced by a delicate, fragrant perfume. The very scent of gratitude. Captain uh, Rensen Rensenad hands me a valuable reward. Nanites! Sweet. Alright, we're coming in here. We're here for this plant. Spin the chairs. That's what we're doing. Hey. Hey. Okay, let's do the thing. Am I still good? Let's use it. Okay. Noel's prediction was correct. The terminal is curiously open. The log's ready for me to read. The observatory appears to have functioned as a salvage station manned by a Gek specialist, a translator. They were accused of questioning things that should not be questioned, of sowing the seeds of dissent. This posting was meant as a punishment, but, appear, but it appears that this posting was the making of them. They found strange things in the wrecks, aberrations, data that spoke of worlds that do not exist and events that did not happen. The Gek went out to investigate one such craft, the life signature of a Korvax still on board. They never returned. Is this how Nada and Polo met? Is this how my friends found each other? There is a signal on the console, a warning on repeat. Sixteen short bursts of data in a loop. Extract the coordinates. I extract coordinates for the distress signal. A crashed vessel awaits me on another world. A crashed vessel. Nice. Freighter. Okay. Oh, that's a cool view. Sometimes you just need to look up at the stars, huh? Wait, is this... Is this screenshot territory? This almost feels like screenshot territory. Can I get everything? I can't. Dang, that would be too cool, wouldn't it? The clouds are in the way, too. I'm not gonna take it then. Um, not salt. What am I doing? Where's my ship? Let's get out of here. Let's get out of here. Not worried about it. We're just leaving. What's on my map? Oh, that's a portal. We're leaving. That deuterium. I don't even know where I'd find it. Well, I'd, I'd find it, but. You know, not right now. Alright, it's a crashed freighter. We should be able to see it pretty good. Slow it down. 
Look around, community. Down close. Look around. Big crash trader. Can't miss it, right? Bingo. That's the one. Not as crashed freighter. Crew manifest missing. Limited data available. Uh one log encryption key? What? Search the crash site for secure containers. Oh, I am an expert at these. Okay, we're gonna find a log encry encryption key, no problem. Real quick. Cargo pod. Take, take the goop. Put it in the starship. Silica powder, log encryption key. See, easy. I know, I should get the other stuff too, honestly. And my ship, hold on. Ship's inventory's all junked up. Um, that's for, that's for a freighter. Let's see, what was I going to do? I can't really do anything. You can eat these. Mmm. Restore zero health. <laughs> Yum. What does it turn into? Nothing? Okay. Whatever. <laughs> Ow, my shoulder hurts. Okay, let's get out. Get out, Muley. Look at this one real quick. Take the goop. Put it in the starship. Log encryption key. We got another one. I don't think I can really utilize more than one though, can I? I don't think I can anyway. Here's an emergency log. Huh. Okay. Well, we'll grab, we'll grab some. says read the log of the crash freighter, freighter zero of three so I'm just gonna grab a bunch well it's not that bad it's not that bad I mean it's pretty bad but I've done a lot of these, so I kind of just know where everything is. <laughs> I'm sure you guys have too, okay? I mean, you're the expert. I just work here. Um, there's one more, right? It's like right here. Yeah, there it is. That one. This one's always kind of a butt for me. Uh, we'll go here. Can I reach it? No? I 
I can reach it. Right here. Take the goop out. Okay, got it. Alright. Got plenty, right? There's no more? No. I think I got them all. Okay, we're good. Let's go. I do not know I do not know who will read this message. I do not know if anything will survive, but I must die as I lived. I will record it all, even in the face of oblivion. The swarm came to every world. The drones acted erratically, not attacking, just watching. Time passed and the sentinels did not seem so much of a threat to anymore. They were peaceful now, we thought. We had been forgiven. We were wrong. Ship logs requested. Accessing. They struck as one, an attack somehow coordinated across unfathomable distances. With the fury exceeding all prior skirmishes, the Sentinels annihilated all biological life within the universe in a span of 54.2 standard minutes. Only I remained. The Korvax stood with me in the end. To their credit, they concealed me within their flotilla as they headed towards the center. Log integrity compromised. Patching. They are coming now. The screams of my friends resonate in every hall, every corner. The sentinels have found me. I told Nada to leave. I told them what we already know, all of us. We were not alone. Even if I die, Nada will find me again in another universe. Ten just like me. A thousand. A million. We are not alone. For every soul is many. Even in the face of sixteen, we must declare that we lived. We existed. No matter the horror of the end. They are, they are at my door. I... Error. Unexpected log termination. Dang. Polo barely escaped, it sounds like. Alright, well. Transmit the freighter's log to Null. You see to locate a hollow terminus. Oh, we're gonna. Um, let's get in here. Hollow terminus located. It's not far, is it? Might be on another planet. Nope, it's not. It's right over there. Oh, it's Artemis. I I escaped, Traveler. I escaped. One moment I was running from them. The stars shifting, terrible smiles within the dark. And the next I was here. Well, wherever here is. This new world has a sun, has life. It's beautiful. But I think anything would be beautiful after the months I spent in that awful place. I'm ready to get going now, though. We'll do what we did before, except there will be no shifting stars to stop us this time. If you bring this star chart to a nearby station, I'm sure we'll find each other soon. Artemis is unaware of everything. They do not know that they died. That I made a choice to bind their soul within a simulated universe. Or, a simulated solar system. I'm going to tell Artemis the truth. But how do I tell them their world is not real? Even if I saved them from death, I took their dreams away from them. They are limited to a single system and will never meet a kindred soul. Um, I don't feel like lying is the way to go. Say that I'm sorry. I will never forget how their smile falters. After a few more questions, they tell me they need some time to think about what I have said. Ugh. That was very anticlimactic. See, transmit the freighter's log to Null or summon the space anomaly to tell Nada about Artemis. Oh, 
this is approximate. Hmm. There you are. Okay. Let's chart it. Grab this. And the goodies. Yeah? Good. Believe it or not, that's an animal, guys. <laughs> it's wild, isn't it? These hexagon planets are crazy. Pretty expensive ladder. Hollow Terminus activated. Multiple signal sources available. The tower hosts a powerful transmitter designed to facilitate... I do that every time. Speak to Null. <laughs> it's... It's a phone. <laughs> Alright, Null. What did you find out there? Tell me everything. Share the discoveries. I tell Noel of the freighter and its recordings, how it spoke of a world where the Sentinels eliminated all life, leaving only a traveler and a single Corvax entity. I choose my words with care. You think I do not know who that Corvax entity is? Do not be so naive, traveler. Do you think anything you have read is a surprise to me? But I had to be sure of what I suspected. I know it now. The Atlas is with you. You could not see these things if it did not wish it. That freighter was a wreck from a parallel universe. There are countless such places within our multiverse, dimensions where things happen differently. But there are three exceptions to this. The Atlas is, the Atlas is omnipresent in all, a singular being with a singular perception. The Sentinels move between dimensions at will. Let's ask about the Sentinels. They served the Atlas once. They were guardians of reality, defenders of civilization, they hunted for errors within the universe, preventing destruction and loss of life. The annihilation recorded in that log. Well, something must have been quite wrong for them to do a thing like that. Um, let's ask about the Atlas. The Atlas created all life, and the Sentinels defended it, searching for anomalies within that creation, that they annihilated an entire universe. Well, something must have been quite wrong for them to do something like that. After a time, the Sentinels ended their service to the Atlas. Ask how they know. I've been alive for a very long time, Traveler. I know as much as you would know, had you seen the things that I have seen. It was the Travelers who corrupted existence. Our, travel, or our arrival was meant to herald a glorious age, but we made a terrible mistake. I... I committed an act beyond forgiveness, and from this deed, paradise was lost. But something is different in this cycle. The walls between universes, they grow thin. Nada knows this, but they keep their head in the sand. We must learn that, learn what we can from each species before we decide what to do. Visit a Viking cartographer and speak with them. I will translate. All right. Are we done with the hollow terminus? It's not shutting down like it usually does. It's weird. Hmm. Um. Okay, that was the call logged on here. Anyway, I think uh, we're done here. What's next? If 
Find cartographers on board a space station. Oh, we don't need to do this. Okay, go down the ladder. And then jump off the edge. Go down. There you go. Okay, so. Um, yeah, we're going to go find a Viking cartographer, I guess. We gotta go to a Viking system, so, um, I say we go to the Anomaly. And, of course, I made it right in the middle of an asteroid field. Not trying to shoot the Anomaly. Okay. There's a rock right there. Perfect. <laughs> Alright, so we got lots to talk to Nada about. Um, I want to talk about Artemis, too. Can I? If I can, but let's go talk. Let's go talk to Nada nonetheless, right? Viking entities have long history, conflict, honor, rage, pride, and yet so static, defined by themselves, never changing. Nada waits as if expecting me to ask something else. Uh, let's ask about. Let's ask about the Viking. Viking hate the Gek, hate the Sentinels. Sentinels hate our home. Gek hate Korvax. Nada should be friends with Viking, yes? No, Nada does not think in this way. Missing entity is welcome in our home, but they do not desire it, so it goes. All right, well. Decided to talk about the Viking instead of Noel's plan. Polo, what do you have to say? Missing friend, as you do their business. Help if you must, but always discover for yourself. Think about what you do. Do not just follow the instructions with your eyes not open. Uh, let's ask about the Viking. Big grumpy fellows. They do not like friendly little Gek. Perhaps they are wise. Like all beings, you will see their value if you get to know them. Alright. Hey. Alright, um, yeah, let's go find a Viking system. Where's my ship? It's parked over there. That's a cool looking one. Holy cow. I'm like walking into invisible stuff. Okay, here we are. Let's go. My inventory's completely full. I want to go to a station, so let's find a um, Viking system and go to the station. Ah. You know what? I feel the same way. Um, that's all I got. Hey, am I running into rocks? No? Okay. Wrong button. This one. Viking system. Right there. Is that a new star? Please be a new one. It's got water. Uh, I want to open it. Yeah, let's do it. We're going. We're leaving this place. And a drink of coffee. OK. 
Okay, here we are. Let's go talk to a Viking photog er, photographer. <laughs> Cartographer. What kind of planets we got here? Flourishing planet with aggressive sentinels. There's more than one planet, but... We're just grinding out the quest lately. I kind of like it, though. Alright, we need inventory, so we're going to go chit-chat with the exosuit guy. Also, we're going to talk to that guy. I don't want to end the episode quite yet. I kind of want to um, at least do that. Yes, please. 120 grand. Sold. Okay. Um, there's the cartographer. Also, let's bring in our ship and see what we can do with that real quick, right? We're pretty close to having it, like... I already have that there. Okay, chlorine. We need chlorine. Which, we're, there is a water world here. Maybe we'll do that next time. Chromatic metal. Activated copper. I know it's annoying. Um, I have copper. That makes chromatic metal. Let's see, how do you look up? Materials and items, activated copper. Activated copper. Chromatic metal generated by the fusion. <laughs> Yellow stars. It can be uh, copper is found on planets orbiting yellow stars that can be placed in a refiner to create chromatic metal. Okay, so activated copper has to be found. Okay, we will find that. We need a lot of it. Or do we need a lot of it? I didn't even think about that. We need some. I mean. And chromatic metal. Which maybe we will just get some chromatic metal here in between episodes. We won't do it because I don't like the sound. Talk to this guy. Cartographer Guckin. Can't understand a word he says. Um, Pro Viking lore. As a warrior begins their bark, I feel a strange frequency vibrate through my skull. I see a flash of Null's glowing orb behind my eyes. Suddenly, the Viking's words ring clear in my ears. Gra, pathetic interloper, praying into Vi or prying into Viking secrets, cowardly spy. I should kill. Gra, but the traveler must be aided. Such is command of Herc. Prove yourself, interloper. Retrieve the words of Herc. Ascend in Viking glory. Then you shall have your words. I will, I will reveal only this. Location of Herc's command is marked for you. Commune with their words. Gra. Okay, so. He wants me to go and get a Viking artifact from an ancient ruin. Ooh. Sell an activated copper? That would be sweet. Um, if they sell it, I'm buying it. You guys know the deal. Ionized cobalt? I don't know if that's... Okay, sure, why not? I don't know if I carry that on me all the time, do I? Apparently I do now. <laughs> okay, um... I also really need to make a um, chromatic metal. 
Ew, goop. This guy's got the goop. There's gotta be another one around here. Oh, there it is. Credits. Okay. That's it. Okay, cool. Alright, well, that's the thing. Um, dang, those are cool looking. Look at those wings. How much? How much? He looks dis displeased at my request. Class C looks awesome. Three mil. Oh, no, I ain't trading that one. Mm-mm. Nope. I'm in my big cool one. No. How much money do I have? Three mil. 3.7 mil. Okay, anyway, um, switch back. Should just finish it, finish that one and switch that ship. Switch to that ship. As much as I like the Radiant Pillar, I really do. Alright, my friends. Well, um, eventful. Another good episode. I want to thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. I did. Um, yeah, we're going to go collect a viking artifact next time uh what else we got going on we need that activated copper right here that stuff i'm just gonna put it on the map or put it in the quests that way we can uh that way we can find it but yeah thank you guys so much here i better save that too in your ship get out of your ship there we go all right thank you guys bye